Hey guys, how are you going and welcome to your 8th Zvelts tutorial. This one is going to be on using properties and components. Okay, so um, we're going to go back into, or we're going to go back and take a look at the main.js file right here, um, just to begin with. So we're going to be talking about properties first. So essentially a property um, behaves very similar to how it behaves in Vue and React, where essentially you're just passing data from top to bottom uh, into your components. Okay, so for example, right here, if we go inside the new app section and we add a props um, object right here, we can then say props and we can just pass through here a couple of properties into our app.svelte component. So um, let's go back to the hello world example. So we're going to say right here, um, let's just do name. So a property called name and we can say something like DOM. Okay, so now I'm um, saving this. It is going to pass through the property called name into my app.svelte. So how do I now access this property from my components? Well, if I go up here, I can access it using this. I can say export let name. So now this component right here has access to our property called name, which of course comes from where it was created right inside here. So I can then say something like P and I can say hello then pass through here the name. So now saving this we can go back inside the browser or into the browser and we can see right here we get hello and then dumb. So quite simple in how that works. Now of course the data gets passed down from the top to the bottom if that makes sense. So basically top down. It comes from the main.js right here from the top and it flows down into the app.svelte right there. Okay. Now, what about default values for the actual uh, properties? So for example, we can make a new uh, property here called, uh, let's just make this one age. Okay. This one has no value if I don't pass through age right here. So we need to apply a default. So we're going to say export let age is equal to a default of 40. So now we can say right here, hello name, you are, then say right here, age. Okay. And I can say years old something like that. So now saving this, we're going to get hello Dom, you are 40 years old. Now, what if I was to pass through the property right here of age, let's make this 25, save this. And now of course we get 25 right there and we are no longer making use of the default value of 40. So that right there is the basics of how props work. Okay, now what about um, passing props into other components from this one, for example? So that brings us to other components. So it's quite straightforward how that works. So if I want to have a nested component inside my app.svelte, we saw this in the earlier tutorial about CSS. So we can make a new component right here and we can call this one something like other.svelte once again. And now inside here, we can use components in the exact same way. So we can say, for example, right here, essentially just start passing through um, the exact same properties. So we can just say uh, export let name and age equal to 40. And we can say right down here for the paragraph, we can do the exact same thing. So something like that. Now, how do I import this child or um, this other component, should I say, um, into the app.svelte component? Well, it's quite straightforward. And we can simply just go up here. And we're going to just firstly remove these properties from this one. Okay, we're just going to say right here, uh, import other from then pass through here other.svelte. So now I've got access to this other component within this one. So now I can quite I can quite easily just go down here and I can just say right here other. Okay, so now this is going to uh, render out my other components. Okay, so I'll just close this off right here. There we go. Um, so now you may have noticed that of course this one takes in a property or two properties But how do we actually pass through these properties to this component? Well, it's quite straightforward. We can simply just say right here uh, Name is equal to Dom 
and because we have a default for the age we don't need to provide that one so now this right here is providing the name of dom to the other component now and um, we may as well remove these props from the uh, from the main app one because of course we're no longer accepting props inside the app therefore we can remove that line right there so now saving all of this and going inside the browser we can see right there we get the exact same result this time this is coming from the other component instead of our main app dot right there now of course you can see how components are useful you can make them reusable you can make components for different uh, different parts of your web page or your application you can make uh, reusable buttons you know paragraphs whatever you want okay now one last thing to cover when it comes to uh, properties is you can actually pass through multiple properties at once quite easily. Okay, so right here, as we can see, of course, we have uh, we have name and age. So to pass these in, um, essentially using an object, we can do so. So for example, going back inside app.svelte, let's declare a new object right here called uh, person equal to an object with, of course, those two property names. So we can say uh, name equal to dumb, and we can say age equals to 24. Okay, so um, right here, we can pass through essentially everything inside this object into our other using this right here. We can just say right here using curly brackets, we can say dot 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 and then we can do person right there. So now essentially it is going to extract both the name and the age outside of my person and it's going to pass them in individually as if I was saying name equal to person dot name and age equal to person dot age. So this right here is just a quicker way to pass through those two props. So now uh, saving this right here and going back inside the browser, we can see we do in fact get the exact same result right there and the props have been passed to our child component. Alright, and that is components and props in Svelte. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.